Hi everybody, welcome to 5 Minute Mondays. I'm Tommy Harden. I hope you had a great week. Thanks for letting me have the week off last week. We ran a rerun. Uh, we did the Purdy Shuffle and basically I, I was just, I can't even describe to you, uh, you know, it's the be careful what you pray for syndrome. Uh, we were on the road a bunch with Reba and then when I, I came back into town and then it was just, it's just crazy. So, uh, and, and it was a holiday in America. There's a lot of you watching that are not, that are from all of the world and hello to you. Uh, but in America, it was, a, it was Memorial Day. So I thought, well, let's, let's take a holiday and spend the day with the kids. So, um, so we're back on track today. Today we we're talking about playing with a click. And I just wanted to give you a couple more thoughts on, uh, on playing with a click and, and a couple of different ways to approach it, which might, uh, which might help you. One, uh, one way that I like to do it is I like to turn the click around. And um, so I've got a click going right now. And we're about right there. So a normal groove to that click is going to be something like this. Okay. Now, what I want you to do on this exercise, and, th and you may think this is simplistic, but it really will help because what it's going to do is it's going to put the click on a, on a different beat, and it's going to be almost like an off beat. So, okay, so your down beat is going to switch back an eighth note, and it's going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So basically all I've done is, is taken the cowbell that was on the downbeat, one, two, three, four, and I've moved it to one, two, three, four, one. So I've, it's almost like there's a guy standing next to me while I'm playing this groove, playing off beats on the cowbell. So if you'll, if, if you'll think about the cowbell instead of being a click and a metronome, Think about it as a part of that groove. So there's a guy standing here playing that cowbell. And that's kind of one way to help you uh, just practice with the click differently. Um, so a click basically is just a guide. It's, it's nothing more than just this is how fast you play. Now if you're playing with a sequence program that's going to be in your music, if you're playing with a loop, if you're playing with uh, some program percussion parts, then you gotta be you gotta be dead on it. Um, if you're doing studio work, you gotta be dead on it. Uh, because what they're gonna do is they're they're if, if they've got to move you to the to the grid, they gotta move you around to the grid, they're not they're not gonna be real happy. So um, in the age of Pro Tools, people are scoping more and more and more. So it's really important as drummers that we learn how to play with a click and get really, really good at it. And what you want to do, I'll give you another uh, couple of ideas. Practice with the click. If you have the ability to record yourself with and without the click, do it. Uh, because what you want to do is a lot of times it will feel differently when you take the click away. And what you want is for that pocket to be there when you take the click away as opposed to just having a great pocket with the click and then take it away and then all of a sudden the drums feel, feel bad. Um, Another exercise to do, and I just read this online today and I thought it was a brilliant idea, um, if you have a way of programming a click and then an empty bar and a click and an empty bar, then practice. Uh, play with the click and keep playing during the empty bar and then see if you land back uh, on, on the click. And then make it larger, make it larger, do two empty bars three empty bars and then and then practice that that'll keep uh, that'll help to teach you to keep that that groove that, that steady pocket um, in the Reba uh, band 
we play, uh, we use the Ableton Live and we have a count off and a click. The stage is 80 feet long, so there's no way that I can count off you know, one, on one end of the stage and somebody's going to hear me on the other end of the stage. Um, so we have the count offs and the clicks programmed. And there's a couple of songs that we were having problems with the hard drive. And the click would shut off for like two bars. And we had, we had to keep playing. And when that click came back on, we were dead, dead on it. So that's what you want to do. If, if that click were to disappear, your pocket is so steady that, boom, you're going to land right back on it if it turns back on. So give that a shot. Uh, that's, a, that's an interesting idea. And uh, uh, practice the click. Practice it backwards. It's just going to give you another way to practice with the click and to get better at it. And really the only way to get better at practicing, at playing with a click, is to play with a click. So um, whatever you can do, get a, get a drum machine, go to a pawn shop, get a used drum machine, or get a, get a metronome, get some headphones and practice with a click. And uh, you're going to find that the more you do it, the easier it gets. So that's our 5-Minute Monday for today. And I hope you guys have a great week. Please, uh, if you have any questions, uh, tweet me, leave a comment on the blog site. Uh, leave a comment on Facebook. Um, I love to talk. I talk to a lot of drummers all over the world, and I do answer back. So hope you have a great week, and I will talk to you next week. Bye.